today we're come pretty far, I would say, if we compare to the years I've been playing, almost 25 years. There's a lot more to, you know, improve uh, both on and off the ice and the conditions around. We are somewhere on on a long journey, uh, but we have a lot left. As a team, we really want to go in for in every game to work hard and do the best that we can, trying to set a, like our spot on the tournament, saying that in Denmark we can play hockey. As of right now, you know, it's it's up to us. I feel like uh, the, the groundwork has been built, so it's uh, we can just be comfortable right now. I think everything is handed to us, which I, I think nobody is, but you know, it's, we can land there. We need to, to keep like showing that we're worth uh, Worth their time, worth like all the resources, like that we, we can put on a good show. Also, uh, as the man, we can rest now. We need to keep pushing. Everybody has such a like kind heart and really is like working for each other. That that is why we are are so successful now. And we get more girls every year. As we saw last Worlds, we were we went to overtime against Canada, and I feel like we have something good um, going on in Sweden. Det är ju, jag tycker att det är jätteviktigt eftersom att man höjer damhocken då hela tiden och så att de här herrarna och killarna också kan liksom se alltså tjejer som kör för dem har väl inte det är väl inte jättevana vid det och få möta liksom After 2022 Olympic Games we have a lost girl and lost boy they know hockey they want to play hockey also some the like a junior player they want to play hockey is a good thing for team China